Do you know that you can glue fabric instead of sewing and make beautiful and unique fabric boxes and other projects using cartonage technique? Yes, this is so fun and the projects are wonderful handmade gifts. I'm Claudia Skill, cartonage teacher and designer from Colorway Arts. I'm the author of the book Cartonage Basics and Beyond. And I'm here in this video today to show you a little bit about my do-it-yourself kits and especially about one do-it-yourself kit that is the what I call my fabric pencil box because I have one important update and then I want to, to let you know. To make the beautiful projects out of fabric, cardboard and glue, you can start from the scratch, you know, cutting out your pieces of cardboard, design your own boxes, or you can start from do-it-yourself kits where you can have all the pieces already cut in the sizes that you need to make the specific projects. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about the pencil fabric box. And um, uh, so as I said, all the pieces of cardboard are included in the kit. And um, you can, in most of my kits, you go online to my website and you can download the instructions because there are very, very detailed color picture instructions. So, for example, you can see here, you can save to your computer, download, you know, uh, print it out and then, or just look in your, the screen of your computer or tablet and then you can follow step by step and make the projects, okay? They are about 20, 30 pages, you know, so it's, they are very detailed no steps missing okay so uh, in this video today i'm gonna talk about the pencil box because uh, i designed this project uh, a few years ago and lots of people have made this box and they are very happy it's a great box for um when i designed it was because i was thinking in pencil uh, but we can use for so many other things okay and uh, i will show you here and I will tell you why I'm doing one update to this project. And also I want to show you that you can like um, have even more fun in front of the do-it-yourself kits. You can imagine and maybe do something different, you know? So let's see what I have for you today. Well, first of all, this box is a hinged lid box. Let me show you here. Okay. It's a hinged lid box. Uh, and the, um, the lid goes out the way to the front, okay? So when I designed this box, I use magnets to close. So you can easily open here and open the box, okay? Very functional, so beautiful. So what I want to show you here is we can have different closures now for this box. And not only for this one, I, later I will tell you where else you can use different closures uh, in my projects, okay? So let's say. So this is the original box, okay, made with magnets. So this is the extra part, the lid that goes right here on the front, and you just easily can open like this and open your box. Uh, actually, this one I don't use for pencil, right? So I have here lots of threads, I made something to put my scissor, you know, so as I said, it's, it's so much fun. You can use your favorite fabric and just create from there, okay? So what I want to tell you here is the about the closure system, right? So as I said, here I use magnets. So I have one magnet here and another magnet right here on the lid. So what's happened when I close my box, it keeps closing, right? So it's not something that is like, it's not locked, you know, but it's, it's closed and off with magnet, okay? So you can see that if I do here, if I pull a little bit here, it's gonna be open, right? Okay. Then what's happened with this option? It's a great option to close the box, but some of my customers were like, well, if I don't align the magnet very, very well, maybe my box can be a little crooked or I'm having, you know, some difficulties to put the, align the magnets uh, in the exact place. And let me tell you in the do-it-yourself kit, you have uh, the template to, to align the pieces that you need to do and glue and now the picture showing how to do the magnets there, okay? So I had another idea. So how about instead of having two magnets, uh, this is the, mag the kind of magnet that is included in the kit. So they are the, um, small magnets, disc magnets, okay? So we have two of them and we glue them there 
uh, once I need, right? Uh, so my idea now is also, we can also use, instead of two magnets, you we can use one washer, right? Like one magnet and one washer. So what's happened? You don't need to be really be um, like stressed or something about putting your magnets straight and neat because with the washer if you put it like just a little off that's fine it's gonna close the same right so if you prefer like this that's fine because the magnet you can put any position and it will glue and close very well right so it's another idea for that and then here you go here is the box I made using washer. So here I have my magnet, same way I have in the other one. And right here I glue the, the washer instead. Okay, so what's happened here? I can close the box, same thing. Okay, and of course I can open a little bit easier than the other one. And uh, well, some customers maybe don't like this because they want more um, locked, you know. So that's what I want to say. The box, any box, not just this, but any project when you are closing with magnet, you are just closing. You are not lock, you know, locking that um, that box, for example. So if you, if I do just a little like this, okay, I can open easily, but I can, you can see that it's not. If I do that or that, I'm not opening. It's closed but it's not locked, right? Okay, so this is the option for uh, the box. So what I decided to do, from now on, the kit will become, the kit will have two magnets and one washer, and you decide, okay? So when you are building your box, you can decide if you want to use the washer, one washer and one mag magnet, or two magnets, okay? It's up to you. So this way, I, can, I think it's gonna be easier for uh, for you guys to decide what you prefer you know the washer will work f f fine okay it's easier to put in the position but again it's maybe if you put two magnets it will be more uh, maybe your sense uh, you know you feel that the box is better closed when you use two magnets but then you have just to be a little bit more patient to align the magnets very in place and then your box will be fine Okay, as I said, hundreds of people already made this box and it is very beautiful, okay? But well, with that in mind, I was trying to find something different. And then uh, I, I have been testing lots of closures that could, the clasps and things that could um, work well in this box and also in another boxes that I have in other projects. So I came out with two that worked and I really like and I want, want to show to you today. So this one here is the first one that I tested and I like it a lot. So this clasp is different. It's a little like it's bigger and then you have this. Now we have we are talking about a box that is locked. Okay, it's closed, very closed. So you have to open here. Okay, and then you just do this and then you have your box ready. So you have to fix this clasp here on the lid and fix this thing there. So of course you will not use the magnet, just the clasp. Okay. So for this option, the clasps will be sold separately, you know. So you can decide if you want to add the magnets that come with the kit or if you want to use the clasp and which clasp you want to use, right? So this is a very, very beautiful one, okay? And the clasp will be available in my shop. And uh, I use one of these also to make my um, one coffee box recently. That was a gift that I made. And it is so, so beautiful. I used the project from my book, The Treasure Chest, and then I changed the clasp. So it's another, you know, just another unique way to close the box and make that box even more beautiful and more um, unique, okay? So I will tell, I will show you later, uh, I will show in this video how to apply the clasp and then from there you can imagine and or can figure out when you have any box if that will work or not, okay? Good. So after making this one, I 
I also had another clasp that I love so much that is so cute. Look at this, it's really small and this clasp here is so functional so you can just open your box. Look at this, it's so unique. It's very small. I have this clasp in three colors now and it is so beautiful and functional. It's easy to apply and I will uh, in just a minute I'm gonna be applying one to one box so you can see how to do it okay and it's so unique so this is another way you can actually lock your box right so this is oh in this clasp here can also be used in another um, thing so let me show you here something that I I have I will not open this project because this is a it's a surprise for later, a project that is a surprise for later, but I want to show that it's the same clasp. Okay, so you can use with leather, a piece of leather or fox leather, and then you can close your journal covers, your notepad covers, you know, your books. Uh, so lots of ideas, so unique, right? So uh, I will show you how to do this later. As I said, it's a surprise for later this year, okay? So now let's see how to uh, attach this clasp here and I will, let, I, will see, I will tell you some differences if it is this instead of that, okay? Um, right here in this video, okay? Okay, so let's see how to fix the new clasp in the pencil box and then you can just figure out from there how you can use in other projects that maybe work, okay? So let's see, for this situation, uh, I have my pieces done here. I will not make the complete project. You know, as I said, lots of pictures and instructions and I also have other videos showing how to do boxes. So this is more focused on the clasp itself, right? So in this situation here, uh, I need to have my cover already ready. So, okay, I did my cover outside, covered with fabric, inside already covered with fabric. When we are building the cover or of our box, if you are using those kinds of those any kind of clasp like that, we need a little bit more space between piece four and piece three. So instead of using the spacer six millimeters in between pieces, we're gonna use the nine millimeters. And the same is true for when you are building your inside finishings, you know, gluing piece 10 and piece 11 you're gonna do the nine millimeters because we uh, we want a little bit more space to go on the front of our box and uh, be uh, better finishing. If you don't have the nine spacers, nine millimeter spacer, just measure this, okay, between piece three and piece four. And, uh, and the other parts, you use the six millimeter as you always do. But in between those two, three and four, right on the front of your box, we're gonna be using the nine millimeters. This is very important. I did this like a few hours ago and I put something heavy over. It was with a, a heavy book over to dry flat and neat. And I do recommend you to do the same. So you first thing, you make your lid and you keep with something heavy for about I would say two hours at least, okay? Two hours is fine. So keep it like that, drying, because now I need to remove the masking tape here to apply the clasp, right? And then you're gonna make your box the same way as we always do, okay? I'll cover the inside and that's, we need to finish outside. And for the outside, we have the finishing, okay? So you also finish, completely finish like this. And now before we cover the outside of our box, we're gonna apply the clasp, okay? So if you already made this box, you, um, you know that we've, if we are using magnet, this is different. If you are using magnet, it's simple, like we have piece number 10. This piece here is the inside of the lid, okay? And piece eight, is the outside of the box, this piece here. So those are the two pieces we need to glue the magnets. So when I um, open my box, okay? So when I open my box, I have one magnet here and another magnet or washer here on the lid, okay? So we do that. Inside the kit, we have the template. 
So you just put the template as required, okay, right here and right here. You mark, and then you're gonna be gluing. Like, let's say my mark is right here. I'm just pretending, okay? So we're gonna be gluing the magnet, and you're gonna be gluing the washer here before covering, right? So this is something we do. Or if you want two magnets, then you glue two magnets, okay? So you just have to make sure that they are, they are aligned in the correct position. So this is one, one choice of uh, gluing then. And then you finish. So once you have, if you are using magnets, at this point here, at this point, you would already have your magnet here and you would already have your magnet here. So you just finish your box, right? Using magnets and using, um, using magnets in washer. Okay, so now let's see how I will do with the um, clasps, okay? So as I said, this was already uh, with something heavy, then I can already remove here my masking tape least right here in the center part that's where I will be uh, where I will be adding the clasp right so my recommendation you can use the same tape just remove a piece and glue put it like this okay just, just the inside okay so we are here inside of my my lid and then we have to find the center we have to find the center of this um, of this part. So from here to there, let me see. Okay, so right here, right here is the middle of my uh, the center of my lid. Okay, and then I have uh, different things here. If this is your choice. If this big one here is your choice, okay, if this is your choice, this is what you are using. Uh, of course, this is, well, this, oh, okay, this will be, you're going to be fixing it right here. So you put right in the position, okay, you would be putting exactly aligning the center of your lid with the central hole in your clasp and then we're gonna have three small really small screws and I do recommend you using a magnetic uh, screwdriver that's the best thing ever and then you just fix the screws here what I have to tell you about this is this clasp it's a little it moves a little bit you know because we have here inside one gap one bump right there that is not a problem i have done this is is not a problem you just put right there hold in the position and fix the first first you fix the center one and then you fix the other two ones just making sure it's aligned and it's in the position and it works beautifully okay so this is the way you're gonna be fixing this part of the clasp in this box okay now let's see this small one that is my preference i really love this, this little one it's so nice okay there are very tiny screws okay so here you go i'm gonna use the gold one now okay make sure it works fine open and close just to make sure right so now i have only two uh, two holes here right so I'm gonna align this right with the uh, I will eyeball, okay? So if you want to make sure and measure, but as you will be adding um, the other part later, if you are kind of one millimeter off, that's fine. You will not really see it, right? So it's here, okay? And you can notice that our finishing for the inside of the lid, it's kind of enough space for us to apply here it's dry just the perfect one for this box okay so now we have here two um uh two screws makes make sure they are um aligned and i hold well hold this in the position you want and go and do 
the, my tip here to fix this um, fix these screws is going very straight very straight because if your screw go a little off or crooked uh, it will not fix nice so if you notice that they are not going correctly just remove and put it again and if you don't have the magnetic screw driver that's fine just pick the smallest one you have okay and then you just fix and press make sure it's very well attached so here you go I already have my clasp in place right here in the lid of my box then I can remove this okay very good so now that we hope that we fix this one it's time for us to put um, to find the position for the other part of the clasp here on the um, outside finishing of the box okay so for this clasp here i only have this small piece and one washer okay that i need right now so let's see here how to do so uh, if it is this box or if it is the chest of my book we're gonna do the same thing we need to pretend that we are uh, covering the outside of our box and then we're gonna find the position okay so here is my box so here is my box okay so I'm gonna as I said pretend so just put your finishing in place you know they are all the same side and put some put some masking tape just to make sure it will be in the position I also like to put a piece of masking tape here because it it will bother you to find the correct position for your clasp if you cannot see the edges of the box so just tape a little bit your your box so as okay as if you're done of course we need to glue this later but now is just what I'm gonna be doing if it's the chest of the book you also will do the same you pretend but put some clasp, some tapes, you know, and then uh, in the chest of the book, you're going to be gluing this on the box first and then doing that, right? Okay. And also, if you need any help, if if you are trying to do something and you have any questions, just let me know. You always can contact me, right? Okay, so let's see. This is the box, the lid. That will be the position our box will be later, okay? So just find the position for your box, the correct position, right? So you have to align here on the sides, okay? Make sure it's closing well, okay? So I need another piece of masking tape and I'm gonna put right, let me see. Whatever I need, you need this tape to be uh, below, you know, under the, the clasp. Okay, so let me double check yes is in the position okay so I already figure out that because this is the way we're gonna be gluing this is the uh, small part okay that goes right there but I have to know where to um, to make the holes and for that we have the washer right so I figure out already that for this clasp here this washer I hope you can see in the video or I'm gonna be trying to put a picture we have two lines in this washer okay and here two uh, some spaces so that will be you need to make one hole open this a little bit one hole in the first one hole in the first and one other one on the on this one the fifth one okay so those are the ones we need so one it's left that's what we're gonna be needing so this is gonna be putting a line if it is in the position you need this is gonna be aligned the line will be aligned with this space we have here right in the center okay so we have this space we align this line with that space but I'm putting under okay and then I will make one I will leave the space okay uh, let me check right here if I'm in the right position <laughs> yeah so from here I can see 
that I'm aligning that line with that, okay, and I'm centering exactly what I need, okay, right here, okay. So this is the line, it's aligned with this line here, okay, and then I need to mark here the first one, and I need to mark here the other one, and this is um, what I need in the center. So it's very easy to, to fix, very easy. Uh, once you have made the first one, you see that it's, you know, very easy. So you make this mark and this mark, okay? The most important thing is you have to know that it's out in the right position. So because once you fix, it's fixed, right? <laughs> okay, then you can remove this part. Then you can just remove everything because I don't... Uh, oh! Let me tell you, because this is different. If instead of this one, you are using this clasp here, okay, I did wrong the first time. Uh, I Just because when you have this, we always imagine that we're going to be fixing like this. And then I did that, and, one, and then it didn't close, because the position for this one is not like this. The position is like that, okay? So is this the way, let me see, to enter, okay. This is the position, so these legs must to be in that, in that way, okay. So what means that the washer must to be, once you put in the position, you know, you mark here inside, and then your washer will be in this position right here. And if you have any other clasp that you think that can uh, can be used for this, test, you know, make a small box and then try or make first a journal cover or something and test there so you understand how that clasp will work, that will be easier, okay? So let's see here, we just remove this, so if I already make my mark there, I'm fine, I can remove all those masking tapes. Okay, very good. So now I have here my marks and I need to, uh, I'm gonna use one craft knife for that. And my suggestion here is that you make your hole, your cut here, inside of the marks you made. Okay, so for the inside, for that position and for that position. Okay, so this way you are, it's guaranteed that you are not making your holes out of the, uh, the clasp, okay? Because this is not a very big space that we have here, especially for this one here that is almost there. So uh, if you keep doing this, it will be better. So, but not a lot, just slightly inside of your mark. Okay, just slightly inside of your mark. We'll make two cuts, like, like this. So just use that, two cuts, and you know that it's go through the other side. So once you did that, you can just remove. And then just remember, here I have a small, oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> so we have here the small space and the bigger space. So this is the position. The small is on the top. This is the correct position. So where I did my cuts, let me see. I have to here. Yeah, here you go. So you just go there, find wherever you <laughs> make your hole and pass your, your thing there. Okay. And then here on the outside, on the inside, you press, hold here very well. And I'm going to be opening this to the out. I don't use the washer here. I don't think we need. It's going to be kind of too bulky. And it, we don't really need. So I, I just, you are seeing I'm doing with just with my hands first. And if you want to, to make it more... Um, 
except you can use like a a plier and just do this and try to do it uh, kind of as flat as you can okay so now that I have my two pieces uh, in the correct position right is that you can test one more time that's a good idea because you know you will still have time to fix if you need maybe if you put something out of space or something like that but you probably if you did as I said for you it will be in the correct position okay so here you go it closed now I just need to finish this box I'm gonna be doing applying glue all over here gluing around the box and closing and I will be doing this very quick now Okay, so here when I do this, I have to put the masking tape here on top, as we always do, and here uh, around the clasp. Okay, just be take your time. If you have a bone folder, this bone folder that is it's so good, or your spatula, you can just press around just to make sure that it is well glued. Also, it's important that here on below right you have this well glue that will help you keep that uh, in the position okay so just spread Okay, so now that the box is covered uh, inside and outside and with the clasp, it's time to just put in the position and glue here with the lid, right? Always from the center to the edges so that help not to mess with the front or with the right side of your fabric around your box. Okay, so you have enough glue here. And I just have to find my position. I fold my lid exactly as I wanted. Okay, and then make sure it is and it is is our important you put in yeah put in the position first close your um close your clasp okay and then i will be adding a few masking tapes so i know it's in the correct position right this is so so good so a few masking tapes just to secure the box in place. I also gonna put masking tape here, here, between the lid and the thing. Okay. Then once I did those first ones, I need to open the box because I need to press here inside and then put a piece of masking tape right here on the, the join part and then I'm gonna be just pressing very well okay 
Once I did that, you can press a little bit, take a little time here just to make sure it's in position. And then you close your box again. Okay, and now it's very important. I, I always say for my all my boxes for a good finishing, right here on the side, right close to the the edge, you have to press and pull a piece of masking tape very well here on both sides. You press and especially like when we are doing this in a local class and you don't have something heavy to put. That's so important for a good finishing of a box. That's a very, very important tip. And then you put something heavy over, yeah, and then you let it dry overnight as we always do. And then after that, you remove all the masking tape and your box is ready to use. Okay? I hope you like this tip. You know, I, for me, it's this clasp can, you know, give us so many more possibilities for cartonage. You can use them in so many other places, uh, so many other projects. And I will keep looking at different clasps to add to my shop, you know, uh, periodically. So check it out, the description of the shop. The link for the, the my shop is in the description of the video and um, give it a try i think you're gonna like it okay it's very unique very different and if you have any question uh you can always contact me uh you can go to my website colorwayarts.com and contact me directly there okay and also if you want to learn more from me and make your pieces your projects your boxes the size you want uh, and a lot of different projects, you can join us in the Joyful Cartoonage Club inside my online school. Also check my website for that and when you become a member you can also have discounts to buy the do-it-yourself kits and you also have the rewards program and you can be part of one exclusive community of cartoonage lovers. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!